Hello everyone, Foley here. And yes, this is not a Spooned or Doomed episode. The Infernal Cape is going to be a standalone video because I believe going for the pet right off the rip is just not feasible. The pet will be something to strive for in future Slayer edition of Spooned or Doomed episodes, or maybe even its own Spooned or Doomed episode within due time. But with that being said, in the last video, I finally got enough GP to afford my Inferno wishlist, and it is time I step in. I'm not leaving here without the cape, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get started with the video. But first, I just want to say thank you for watching. Disclaimer, I am not certified to teach people the Inferno. So if you would like to learn how to do the Inferno, I would recommend watching Adicon's first Cape Friday series on YouTube. I will have it linked in the description of this video if that is something that interests you. Um, really, I'm just going to be showcasing a lot of devs I was locked in most of the time and was not talking, so there really isn't much commentary. It's really just me dying a bunch of times. With that being said, I hope that you guys still enjoy the video, and thank you for watching again. Alright, I'm about to go in for the first attempt. I'm just going to mention the gear again, just in case you forgot. We got the Eldridge Staff, uh, we got the Virtus Robe Top and Robe Bottom. We're wearing the Justy Face Guard. We have the Echo Boots. We also have the Elysian Spirit Shield, Necklace of Anguish, the Occult Necklace, Masori Top and Bottom, the Twisted Bow, the Blowpipe, and for the inventory we are bringing 10 Super Restores, 8 Ceridomen Brews, Stamina, 2 Bastions, Runes for Ice Barrage, Blood Barrage, and then the Thalador Shield for extra prayer just in case we need it at the end of the run. And away we go! Wave 41, first try. So, uh, we shall improve and we shall get better. I, I didn't think I did too bad. I definitely learned a little bit, but... I watched one Adicom video on the Inferno, so I feel like I got a little bit of uh, information going into this, but still a lot to learn, and uh, we shall keep going. Okay, well, uh, wave 24 that time. Um, we got worse. Uh, yeah, I just didn't handle that blob and ranger really well. I I was flicking them wrong, so that's just something I'm gonna have to learn. Okay, so I'm making some executive decisions. I'm uh I came to the conclusion that I don't need the Eldridge Orb. Um the blowpipe healing is way too important and I don't feel like prayer is going to be a problem and I don't need a Virtus Robe bottom for this, so I'm gonna sell this and I'm gonna pick up a code I won. This code I want gives a little bit more um, magic accuracy, plus a little bit more of magic defense. Uh, the accuracy is the most important part, but, but yeah, this will save me a couple inventory slots, and uh, I think it'll just be better for me. And then I can also pick up a Ring of the Gods, because I don't think I'll need a Light Bearer. And I can go ahead and imbue that, and then we can have ourselves an imbued one. And I can switch out the uh, Max Cape with the uh, regular Assembler's device. Well, the Assembler Max Cape. Oh no, I forgot both of you guys play on full screen. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I'm going to get Inferno Cape on full screen and no sound. How does that make you feel? Well, yeah, that's a, you, deserve, you deserve pet first kill count. <laughs> you think that? Like, <laughs> Okay, we, we got a little two-stepper. What? What is going on? Why did I get dragged? Oh, I forgot to click, that's why. Okay, no, that's all right. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. I got dragged. Red. Oh, uh, I have 39. Not too bad.
<laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, that was that was no good. <laughs> Damn. Oh. 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 No way. <laughs> Oh wow, Tingaroot, 24.7 million XP on a Celestrius tree. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> oh, that is great. We love to see that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, I'm about to save so much money because I am not buying a single fucking tree sapling ever again. Oh my god. God, Jesus Christ, we love that. That is uh that is pet number 14, I believe. Yep, pet number 14. Would you look at that? The tangle root pet, which is one of the rarest fucking pets you can get. This thing is uh pretty hard to get, but we only have three more skilling pets to get. The Rocky, Baby Chinchampa, and the giant squirrel. And that is fucking amazing. We're gonna give tangle root the good old dragon fruit seed and uh yeah he's he's looking like a rasta man now pretty sure that's like i don't know that's my favorite one if i change it to another one it'll be either the crystal acorn one or the white lily but i like this one um but yeah we're just gonna go ahead and pick him up and throw him in with his friends and uh he's gonna have a, a grand old time my god, I can't believe I got Tangle Root that early. It usually takes like, I don't know, I think like 60 million farming XP on average. Good old Tangle Root. So, uh, yet another pet spooned, and we, we love to see that. We actually love to see that. Don't forget to do your daily tree runs, folks. It might actually be worth it. I was praying range at the beginning of that wave and that met my demise oh my god well we got to wave 48 so i mean at least we're getting into majors like these past couple times every time so we're definitely improving but there's still a lot to work on okay well that was a good try what <laughs> what happened you want to see what happened yeah Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> oh no. What's, what's wrong in this picture? I see. This is what I learned from Adicon. See? You just save spot him. Do a little bit of hitting, right? Right? You don't want him to dig. Come in yes. for a tick, you know? And now we're oh good. Oh my god. The tech is crazy from this guy. Man, you should be the one teaching me. Fuck. Once I get the cape, I'll teach you. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I'll teach you how to I'm do it with like, no sound. Okay. I mean, I could probably do it without sound these days, but nah, bro. You're a demon. Oh. I fucking st oh, I got dragged. Oh my god. Ugh. Double blob wave. It is what it is. Fuck. Well, we made it to single jad. I had some people come at the front door. I had to answer and I got distracted and got, got hit. But uh, hey, we, we got to jad. That is, that is big progress. So if I can make it there with more Saradome and Bruise next time. Yeah, I just had some people knocking on my door and it, it distracted me. Just uh, bad timing, I guess. I, I literally don't understand what happened right there.
I'm fucked. Oh shit. That was just poor pillar management there. Oh, we were doing good. We were wave 59 and we still had five brews left. Oh, we were doing really good. Just got to manage them pillars a little bit better. Why did I panic protect a melee? That would have been, it could have been fine if I just kept staying prey to mage. Oh my God. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why am I dying to Jed? Why? Why? Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even get to triple Jeds. God, please help me. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm throwing right there. That was me throwing. Pretty sure I lagged, but I mean, I know I messed up, but like, I'm pretty sure I lagged too. Fucking double blobs, man. That's all I gotta say. Fucking double blobs. I didn't get all the nibblers. No. Fuck. Okay, so here's the plan. I don't have a pillar. I'm going, I'm going to nuke. I'm gonna try to nuke the rangers. Yep, that didn't work. God damn it. Oh my god. I didn't realize I didn't get all the fucking nibblers. Oh my god. That could have been the run. That was a good run, besides that last part. Okay. Yeah, I definitely had some triple jad hands, but we finally got to triple jads, a new PB. So uh, we're, we're getting pretty close. Hopefully just a few more attempts and I should be able to get to Zuck.
I'm just getting tired. It's been a long day. I've done like six or seven attempts today. Oh, I'm just so tired. I need to sleep. God, I had it. I miss. I kept misclicking on the melee and was freaking taking rain shots. Why? Oh, okay. Good run. Good run. I clicked mage one tick too late. Oh my God. Jad hands once again. That might have been the stupidest stuff I've had.
Oh my god. I did it. I did it. I fucking did it. Oh my god. Oh my god, the first Zuck attempt. Oh, well, not... Well, first end game, but, uh... I mean, I did do the... The simu the online simulator a little bit to get my confidence up, but oh my god, look at it. We got ourselves an infernal cape. Oh my god. <laughs> it honestly took me a lot less time than I thought. This is attempt number 27, but it was only over the course of maybe five or six days, I think. Honestly, I thought I was going to be here for like a month, so I'm, I'm really proud of, uh, of how fast I was able to do it. Oh. I don't even know what to say. I'm I'm gonna take a minute and I'll get back with you. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh yeah, I just I just took like 30 minutes and just sat on the couch and relaxed for a little bit because today has been a stressful day. I, I've done five attempts today. They were all in like the way they all ended in the wave fifties to all the way up to triple jad. So I've been stressed out all fucking day doing with these later waves and i am i am just so so relieved that it's all over it was honestly really fun to uh to get this inferno cape although very stressful i will say it was very stressful but it was actually really fun and i had a blast doing it my confidence in my skill has skyrocketed through the roof now i feel like i, I can do like anything in this game now but uh there's there's one thing i gotta do now and i gotta take this and i gotta make it a max infernal cape all right yes combine it oh man would you look at it oh the max infernal cape oh my god it's finally mine oh man what a what a good adventure i'm just kind of speechless honestly like i don't i don't know what to say and uh, i don't think there's really much more for me to say i think uh I completed one of RuneScape's hardest challenges, and I got a tangle root along the way in this video, and I think the only thing left to do is uh, to sell this Inferno gear and see how much money I'm I'm stacking up at. Oh, and uh, I guess one last thing. I, I ended off with two and a half brews left, which I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself having, and then I had two doses of restore, and I still had a my two prayer recharges from the Falador shield. So uh, I did pretty good in uh, resource management, I'd have to say. Pretty proud of myself for that. Yeah, shout out Elijah and Spirit Shield. This thing saved me uh, quite considerably a lot. Yeah, it was it was a great time to have that Elijah and Spirit Shield, but it must go now. That thing is worth way too much for it to just sit in my bank. They have sold. Yeah, it looks like we have like 925 mil um along with the 224 mil because i did end up selling the uh the eldridge orb and the nightmare staff because i figured out that i didn't need that much prayer um so we are sitting at 1.15 billion gp and uh i know exactly what i'm gonna do with it but i don't know what gear i need because in the next episode of spooned or doomed i will be taking a walk into the chambers of xerix and facing ulm a mega rare or pet is what I need. It's going to be a long road, but lots of money will be made ahead and lots of learning too, because I have never done the cocks in my life. But if I can do the Inferno, I can do anything. But before I go, I just want to say thank you to my channel members for supporting me. At the Teaspoon tier, we have Unlucky Soup, Buns Gaming, and Blake Simons. And at the Tablespoon tier, we have Dakota Adkin and Ultimate Gaming. I appreciate you guys very much. It means the most. And thank you to everyone else who is watching. If you did like it, make sure to subscribe so you can see when I put out more content in the future. My name is Foley, and I will see you guys next time.